Well, hey everyone, it's Drunken Otaku here, and today we're reacting to the second episode of Usama Game. So, we got the death game setup kind of going. Main character with severe PTSD, and who I'm guessing is the main female character, who's probably a yandere. <laughs> That was a really healthy smile she gave us. And she's very clingy. So, I, I kind of go into more depth in my review, which is coming out this weekend. But, <laughs> I cannot guarantee the show will be any good, but it'll probably be a lot of fun. I don't, I, I do enjoy really bad B-horror films. So, I mean, I'm talking, I enjoy trauma films, you know, of all things. I have a trauma collection. So, <laughs> let's see how this plays out in three, two, one. Right where we left off at. You say that, you say that, but do you know for sure you didn't do it? <laughs> That voice. <laughs> Sound freaking possessed. And no screaming. I was told not to watch the OP, so I'm not going to. I'm just going to talk to you guys. We'll open up um, something else to look at. Music's cool. I think we heard the music last episode. Man, um, what do you bet none of the characters, you know, listen to the main character ever? And then they all get killed. Of course, uh, he'll sub it'll subvert the trope and he'll die too. <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, yeah, do we need the dramatic pause there, bud?
So it starts off as pervy stuff. And then people started dying. Yeah, I wonder how the teachers and the police are going to deal with this shit. He's going to be super suspect. He just moved here and people started dying. Now make people start believing shit. Oh, well, yeah, that'd be... Um, So this one will be primarily uh flashback. <laughs> and they'll be the next two dead. I mean, 
mean, yeah, I mean. What's going on here? If you're ordered to kill yourself. Shit. <laughs> that voice. <laughs> I mean, he did sleep with his girlfriend, so I mean, I can understand where he's, how pissed off he is. No one really believes the game yet. Well, some people do. I mean, it's a very unlikely coincidence for two classmates to die in the same night. Hey, what a coincidence. <laughs> We'll see how well that works out. I can sympathize. <laughs>
Let's see how this plays out. Too happy time. It's too happy time. All right. As soon as he leaves the room. Clock off. Well, you're going to love explaining to the police and to his parents and... Okay. And it's all been an act the entire time.
of course no one's gonna believe no one's gonna believe you. Ouch. <laughs> oh, she's a brat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so definitely not a yandere, but she's fucking insane. Yeah, she's dangerous. Oh, no, she really is. Well, he might be getting a new a new um, main character. All right, so we didn't uh, lose any uh, the present day cast in this episode. So yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about the show yet. I mean, it's just like, I don't know. Like, I like really, I like horror films, but, you know, I don't know. That reveal of her character would have been way better later on, man. Late. That would have been way better to have that later on. <laughs> it's kind of like. Crappy pacing, like really crappy pacing. You know. <sighs> yeah, letting us speculate about her character for, you know, half the show would have been way better than just that, you know, sudden shift right there. You know. Maybe, uh, have, you know, suspected for a few episodes and have her doing some stuff subtly in the background that the viewer sees, but no one of the other character sees, you know, that'd been cool. Uh, I'll give it another episode. One more episode. So far, I'm really, as much as I love horror, you know, I'm not sold on this at all. Anything after the credits? Nope. All right, well, this is Drunken Otaku. I'm heading out for now. Please like and subscribe, and I will talk to you all later. Hey, everyone. This is the part of the video in which I shill for myself. I put it at the very end so you can easily skip it if you don't want to watch. All relevant links are in the description below. If you feel like supporting this channel, the best thing you can ever do is hit like and subscribe. But if you feel like taking it a step further, feel free to either follow me on my Twitter or join my Discord server. If you want to go plus ultra, I have a Patreon setup. If there's a show you want to see me react to that you don't think will ever win one of my polls, this is a great option. Finally, if you're planning on purchasing anything from Right Stuff or JList, I have links in my description that will kick back a bit of your purchase my way. And as always, I hope you have a great day.